story that has been touching hearts right across the continent, dare I say globally, and it is these huge wildfires uh, that have been burning in Fort McMurray. Now, you're seeing it, you're seeing it on social media, you're seeing it in the news. And one thing that jumped out at me um, right away, probably from day two of this story, is seeing people come out and help in droves. And it just, it gives me the tingles, the shivers, um, it, it, it restores my faith in humanity. And I think we've all read about beautiful stories that have come out of this catastrophic fire. Mary, Marilyn, you've been like following it. Well, I've been lying on the couch, so I've been watching a lot of TV. Yeah. And, and the, I mean, like, I got goosebumps and I'll probably cry, but the one that got me the most, not the most, but of them, yeah. uh, there's shift workers. And, and so people knowing that there were neighbors that were home as the fire was coming at them and pounding on their doors because they got earplugs on and white noise oh. machines to get them out of the way of the fire. And a bunch of people saved their friends because they, they, like, they broke into their houses to get them to wake up. Oh, my god! And so or they would have died in the fire Absolutely. in the house because you're asleep, right? Maybe yes. you took sleeping pills. Who knows? You That's know? right. You got the masks on. You've yeah. got the, the double, yeah. The, yeah. the blinds yeah. down. Mm. How bunch about you, Stace? You've got people out west. Yeah, we have. You know, and I think so many of these random and acts of kindness are a reflection of that type of person mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. who lives out there it's lots of farmers it's mm -hmm. lots of people who are used to pitching in the story that really touched me was the one about the firefighters who'd done a full 48 hour shift no break and on their time off they went and rescued all the pets from people's homes so they went and got the names of the pets and then they went back in and actually like called the names and got the dogs and the cats and a pig out and mm. yeah, I heard about that how, pig. how yeah. lovely right? it's their family members their and family I think a lot members. of people were broken hearted because they found out the fires were burning they were at work they were not able to go back to their That's what houses to get yes. anything, get anything. Mm -hmm. and so you've got family members that are left behind your pets are left behind and I think that it is just it's amazing the, the amount of attention we're seeing even for the pets I think we're going to be seeing great adults Adoption yeah. efforts. We're going to yeah. be seeing great yeah. efforts made to rescue uh, whatever pets there are left. So, you know, I, I leave you with this today. I was going to ask you guys about random acts of kindness, but I, I'll leave it to our viewers. When you're out there today yeah. and you see an opportunity to do a small thing, it could make a very big difference in someone's life. That's what hashtag CityLine Real has always been about. Mm -hmm. It's been about helping each other. So keep that going, whether it is a huge disaster or just a regular Wednesday.